All right, hi everyone. My name is Todd Green. I am the CEO of PubNub. And I am Stephen Blum, the CTO of PubNub, and we are changing the world. Yes, we are. Yes. Uh, that, was, that was awkward. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Just got your attention, right? Um, so let's talk about PubNub. How many people here have heard of PubNub before? Anyone? It's a good show of hands. OK. Um, so PubNub is democratizing real-time applications. Uh, we are letting people connect everyone, everything, every device in the world in under a quarter of a second. What does that mean, and how do we do that? So PubNub provides two services, two main services in the cloud. One of them is called PubNub Galaxy, and the other one's called PubNub Pulse. Let's talk about what these things do. Galaxy is a multicast service. You publish data into the cloud, a small packet of data. It may be a chat message. It may be a, a game update. It may be a, a signal for, for, to a machine. And any other device in the world subscribing to that channel, think of it like a radio channel, receives that data in a quarter of a second or less. People are using PubNub Galaxy for a wide variety of applications, from multiplayer games to um, sports updates like Euro Cup 2012, where they use PubNub to provide updates to 800,000 people synchronously during the game, or during the 31 games. PubNub Pulse is a unicast service. Similarly, we connect millions of devices, keep sockets open to them, so you can push information to them when you need to very fast. Customers include people like Revtel, the second largest voice over IP company in the world, who are using PubNub to make telephones ring, hang up, dial, and other control signal protocol kinds of messages. In fact, they've replaced some of what SIP does with PubNub. Why? Because it's globally scaled. We're in 10 data centers. Um, we support every kind of device you can imagine, from desktops to phones to browsers and, and lots of other servers. Um, and it's very cost effective. Now, once you've got this messaging in the cloud and you're sending your data through PubNub, we provide a set of services that provide extra value aside from just getting data quickly from point A to point B. Some of those services include presence. So who's on the channel? Who's listening to me? Who's there? I want to know who's listening to this channel. Um, analytics, real-time analytics. Not what happened yesterday or five minutes ago, but within a half a second of someone listening to a message, you get it on a dashboard. Um, storage and playback of those data streams. Either like, kind of like think of a data stream like a TiVo where you can play back that stream. Security, support for mobile and uh, different kinds of routing and filtering. So you provide all these extra services around this um, PubNub real-time service. As I mentioned before, we're in 10 data centers. We support every kind, of, um, every kind of device you can imagine, every kind of programming language. Uh, we are basically providing a, you know, five nines SLAs. We've got 2,000 or more customers. We're doing on a slow day 10,000 messages a second through the system, peaking at over a million, actually close to two. And we, like I said, we run everywhere. Talk to you a little bit about WebRTC data channel. So what is it? Well, it pretty much doesn't exist yet, though we did see Mozilla talk about it earlier today. Um, but you need it, and you need it now. So let's talk about this for a little bit. Why WebRTC data channel is important. First of all, WebRTC is great, but you still have to establish those WebRTC connections. So you have to have a server that can proxy to let those people know they want to talk to one another. Now, most video and audio applications on the internet involve some other kind of data sharing, right? What are those things? Well, chat, that's a pretty common one. Uh, presence, you know, who's there? We talked about that already. Uh, screen sharing, a lot of times we want to share our screen. Um, gaming, we sometimes want to send game details across. Uh, we talked about analytics before. We sometimes want to know what's happening. And lots more, lots of other kinds of collaborative applications that want to take the video and audio part of WebRTC but provide a data channel to send other kinds of data along with that video and audio stream. All right? And PubNub delivers a data channel today. In over 40 different client libraries in any programming language, we provide a simple publish and subscribe API. And every developer can take this, download it, plug it into their applications, and immediately you're doing whether it's peer-to-peer -peer connectivity or one to millions connectivity. And what's cool about this is with PubNub, we protect you from all these different protocols. So when WebRTC becomes available on the device and you're doing peer-to-peer, -peer, we use WebRTC. But when it's not available, we fall back to other protocols. So the nice thing about PubNub is you can use it today, and as soon as WebRTC data channel is available, it'll, it'll just fall to that particular protocol. Right? So you're shielded from the complexities of developing WebRTC or other kinds of protocols that you need to think about when doing real-time streaming of data. Now. So we kind of call ourselves like a WebRTC data channel Lance Armstrongified. You know what that means. Um, 
Sorry, that'll take a while to sink in. It'll get there eventually. Sorry. Bad joke. I knew that was going to fall on it. I told you that was going to fall on its face. All right. Um, so when we, when, we, when we do this, you can see that, you know, as in the diagram there, the clients are talking to each other, WebRTC, but you can still have a back channel of information. You're sending data back to the cloud. Now, why would you want to do that? Because we know in the real world, it's not often just about peer-to-peer. -peer. You still want to do things like detect presence on the server. Analytics, security, storage and playback, mobile, routing and filtering, all the things we talked about that you need a server to do. So you might want to take advantage of the very low latency aspects of WebRTC data channel, but also a lot of higher level types of things you need to do on the server. And so that's how PubNub exists today and how it will exist with WebRTC data channel. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to Steven to show some, uh, some demos. Excellent. All right. Not only am I going to show you a WebRTC demo, but I'm going to code it live right here, right now on this stage. And for those of you who are hackers, see if you can keep up. I'm a very fast typist. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, done. Wow. All right. That was very cool. Thank you, yeah. Uh, so Todd, can you? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, can you uh, load this up on your... It, it works uh, on, it's on the internet already? Wow, that's, yeah. let, let me take a look here. Let me, um, wow, did you just do that? Yeah, I just did that. It's yeah, phenomenal. check that Look at that. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow, okay. All right, cool. So um, what's, what's your phone number? Uh, it says here 7584. So right. you know, Stephen did this all in HTML5. There's no images except for that tiny little phone icon. He's going to dial um, my, my, my phone here. He's not going to actually make a call, but simply trigger my device to start calling. And you can see that's that immediately within just literally about a tenth of a second, we initiated a, a, a phone call. We basically initiated a call signal. This is what's not only going on in a demo, but companies like Revtel are doing with a large user base today in production. All right? Let's, let's go beyond that, though. What else did you code up while I was standing here? Oh, yes. While you were standing here, I don't know if you <laughs> noticed, but I created another demo. Well, that's, that's cool. Yes. And the tab's already open to that, too. Yeah, there we go. Sense. Check right, it out. Cool. So with this demo, when you're doing video and voice, you might want to do more than just that on the side. You may have seen some of the demos that were going on here today. They were mostly about the video. But there's this control channel where you need to type data or text. And so if I start typing here on this demo, you'll see that my keystrokes are coming through. So I can say, hello, Todd. So you can see yeah. that as I'm typing, every keystroke, that's my screen over there, that's his over there. And watch every keystroke I type shows up virtually instantaneously. I'm just typing gibberish wow. here. And he's typing shows up over there instantaneously. We're talking about latencies of about 50 milliseconds. And that's actually bouncing off a cloud. You can imagine how much faster once data channel becomes available. All right? So what if we wanted to go beyond just chat and do something a lot more animated, like, say, show mouse movements? Ah, uh, like screen sharing or yeah. other types of applications that you can do with WebRTC. Well, we just so happen to have another tab that's available. So cool. So now I'm moving my mouse, and Stephen's moving his mouse. And as I type, I can actually change my text, and, and I can move it. And so not only am I sending keystrokes now, but I'm sending mouse coordinate left and right, you know, x and y coordinates um, through the same data channel. Once again, if you use PubNub, it's going to work today flawlessly. We've been around for years, and we have 2,000 customers. And when WebRTC comes out with the data channel, immediately we'll be even faster. All right, and how about one more thing? What if I want to just share any kind of content? Any kind of content? Any kind of You're content. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over to that, check that out. We've got 39 seconds, let's do it. All right, so if you want to send an image or a video, simply use PubNub and it will send the image very quickly uh, with our data channels. You can send more than that, you can send videos as well. Well, I was gonna send you a video. Oh, okay, sure, see. send me another. There we go. Yeah. So this is the PubNub theme song. We actually have lots and lots of people who listen to this song. And uh, actually over 100,000 views. We have a good time working at PubNub, if you can't tell. We're kind of geeks, but it's fun. Um, anyway, finally, what else do we have? All right. You can send any other type of data that you need just uh, beyond the call with WebRTC data channel. You can send uh, anything, and it's ready right now. Thank you.